Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. A Michigan inmate has been awarded a hundred million dollars in his civil lawsuit against infamous music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The judgment was issued to 51-year-old Derek Lee Cardello Smith yesterday. He accuses Diddy of drugging and sexually assaulting him at a party in Detroit back in 1997. So there is proper service. Mr. Combs has neither appeared nor responded to this request. So I am going to grant your motion for a preliminary injunction temporary restraining order and order that the defendant and their agents are hereby enjoined temporarily for a period of 90 days from the sale, transfer, or exchange, trade, or transaction of title or deed to the property listed as the address and placed on the market by defendants for the amount of $70 million. Check it, man. Check it, man. I'm very confused with this right here, man. Boss Talk 101 signing in, man. Just want to try to figure out what's going on. Diddy has responded. There's a guy at the Detroit, in Detroit, Derek Smith, awarded $100 million. He locked, he was, this guy locked up. He's, he runs, runs a, 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 a deal where he feels like Diddy owed him some money. Sex assault, uh, slapped him on his somewhere during the line i don't know what's going on i, I know he's he, i don't know if he's a jailhouse lawyer or what he got going he represented himself in trial he basically is coming at diddy and has been awarded but diddy's people clapped back diddy responded today saying um hey man you know uh this year ain't right you know we really wasn't notified um, it's crazy, man, how this, this thing is beginning to look on Diddy. They're coming from the woodworks. They're even coming out of prison now. And it's crazy because, like I said, the boy locked up. He got a lot of time. So I guess he had a run in with Diddy when he was on the, in the street. Says he's 51 years old. And I, like I said, I got my boy OG Pyru. OG Pyru, you there? Man, I hear this bull. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. I'm, I don't know what's going on, man. The man been awarded $100 uh, He was locked up. But I don't care whether you like to be on the moon. 97 to 2024, that's 27 years. There's a statute of limitations on every time. Well, the judge says that, you know, like it was something that, that, that had been that reignited that he was notified, though. They want this money, man. If he's notified or not, if, if, if he ain't did this in 27 years, man. See, white America, like I said before, they out of all of this uh, conjure and accusations they make it on 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 Diddy is the master of sloppy seconds. We we find him guilty of that. Yes, he do do that. He take everybody girl. I may take their boys too. But <laughs> white America is mad at him for something altogether different. If he had well Bill Cosby got locked up, everybody get locked they ain't never pulled a charge on on puffy combs but his inmate is charging 100 million dollars in a silver case against diddy Man. out of detroit something went down so, ain't nothing went down white <laughs> man i told you before when this first start happening white america is doing anything they can to break uh puffy combs they're taking they're financially raping him so any any accusation you can come up and say tomorrow that you have been busted by him you understand me? You gonna get a hundred million. Well, do you think this guy will be awarded this, or do you think did they have to pay him, or you think it's just uh, you think they'll 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 come back and take this back? Do you see this guy? He's locked up. Did you ever? Was you ever locked up with anybody that? that I, wait a minute. How, what is he locked? Is he in jail? Yeah, he's in Detroit. Detroit. They, they ever did brought him back and let him go in? Oh, did he? I, <laughs> oh man, this this. He's a jailhouse lawyer. It looks like. You have no standing. A convict who's supposed to take you know you know it's a plot when a oh, excuse me <laughs> when you when a uh, one of them clear people let a convict well, it, wait a minute is this alleged victim he must be a white boy I don't know what he is Derek Smith sound like a black name Derek Smith he's on the Smith plantation I guarantee <laughs> he's a high yellow <laughs> a, a clear person. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Diddy, I, I mean, Diddy, I think Diddy, they trying to really cease his, his like his, all of his, uh, like him not moving no money behind this as well, from what I'm hearing. Oh, this ass is, it, it shut them down. They're trying to make it aware he can't do nothing until this guy get his hundred million. Oh, 
Oh, man, they ain't going to do nothing. Where you going to spend it at? But you can't give it $20 a month on commissary. <laughs> Have you, OG? Was you ever locked up with anybody that thought there was a jailhouse like lawyer that was really putting down the? Man, I, I mean, that's how I got out of prison. <laughs> man, shoot, I, I had an attorney one day. I called a case and um, from youth authority and got sent to prison. And uh, man, my mama spent money uh, on, on my assassination attempt and uh, tried. And the lawyer told me it was just nothing he could do. Shoot, man. Uh, a uh, jailhouse lawyer in San Quentin, man, uh, he can get everybody out but himself. <laughs> get everybody out, man. Oh, my goodness. He was a master. Uh, Rochelle McGee was one of the uh, uh, San Quentin Six. Rochelle wrote uh, appeals so tough. He, as a matter of fact, Rochelle just got out of prison about... About nine months ago, Rochelle been down. Rochelle McGee was in uh, San Quentin in prison since 1962. Wow, 1962. And, and he and he made a brief one time in 1974, so dynamic to the state supreme court and and cussed them out about them the illegally held political prisoners that Hugh Hefner saw the brief. And he put his brief in the Playboy magazine and said that was one of the most intelligent briefs that he's ever seen. Wow. Well, this guy right here evidently got an intelligent brief because he's evidently done got in somebody's ear in Detroit. And it, it, hit, it hits mainstream news. And, and like I said, he was not only did he get bench wanted back, but he got awarded $100 million. How do you think he's feeling sitting in that jail cell right now? Like a factory. Whoa, I <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's, he's feeling like I won a hundred million dollars. Now he in there running game. What kind of game you think he running in there telling these stories about how he went and took got this money and it's in the mainstream news now? Oh, and he locked oh, up. Oh, he, he, he the big fish in a little pond right about now. <laughs> uh, you, you know, but you talking, you won a hundred million dollars from another black man you, and you can't get yourself out of prison. <laughs> Boy, you know, did you? He, and he represented himself in court. Yeah, yeah, pro per, <laughs> in persona. <laughs> it wouldn't nobody take the case. <laughs> he represented and won it. So. Boy, you can't tell him. Everybody's sitting at his bunk trying to figure out what they going to do next to try to get him to, you know, they trying to get their family to pay him. In this case right here, he can't be the traffic ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let me let, let me end this thing, man. OG, man. So OG Piru says he comes to did his defense that he don't feel like this guy no, Derek Smith should be awarded. He said I came to no defense. I said that this assassination attempt on Diddy's bank account. Now he may have slapped that man on. Oh Lord, ever so should this man get the hundred million or not? Hell no. Okay, so you came to his defense. You saying that he should not get the money from Diddy? That Diddy should have to give him a hundred million dollars? I didn't say Diddy didn't do it. They should award him to somebody to slap him. On well, I'm just a hundred million dollars. A hundred million. He's been awarded. Either you win it or you're not. So should he get the hundred million? Well, they award you a hundred million dollars now and try to get it. Okay, so should he get the hundred million? Yes or no? No, he shouldn't. Okay, so uh, so OG Faru comes to did his defense for this hundred million dollars not to be given. <laughs> prosecutor. <laughs> so you either win him or you not with him with getting a hundred million. I'm I ain't with I'm not with no uh, getting no hundred million dollars for getting slapped on his ass in ninety seven. <laughs> okay, so should should did he have to pay or not? Hell no. Okay, so he's with, so he, so OG Paru says Diddy should not have to pay a hundred million dollars, and 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 but but the but but the court has awarded uh, uh, Derek Smith a hundred million dollars. Guys, get in the comments. Let us know. Do you agree that that Diddy should have to pay this hundred million, or do you agree that Derek won this case and should uh, basically lay down? I think I think if he won it, we got to stand behind it. You guys, let us know what you. You think in the comments he didn't win
Yes, he did. He won. He won it. It's right here. Inmate awarded a hundred million dollars in a civil case against Diddy. That's that's white America putting us against us. He couldn't win an appeal to get out of jail. <laughs> man, check it, man. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. I tell you what, man. Make sure you guys keep on watching Boss Talk One Hundred One, where the bosses talk. This been another Boss Talk One Hundred One review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.